I got a card from a woman veterinarian who had married a cowboy. Now I have discussed lady vets marrying cowboys. I point out that it's the perfect match. While she's out earning their daily bread, he feeds her horses and cleans her stalls and drinks beer and team ropes every afternoon with his buddies. Brenda explained her case. Her rancher slash cowboy slash husband's expectations upon marriage were dashed. She has a busy practice. She gets home after a day's work and he's been plotting all day the veterinary services he needs on his own stock. Honey, he said, one of our cows doesn't seem right. She's honking like a goose. Her eyes are bugging out and she just stands there around the water trough. Oh, she'll be fine, she says. She's probably just got an allergy. I've got another call in Berlin in 30 minutes and I haven't got time to talk now. But sweetie, my good roping horse is off his feed and he's favoring his left leg. You know, when I take my dallies, you could... George, I have to take little George to the dentist and then to soccer, maybe tomorrow or the next. Yeah, but even the puppy needs his shots. Brenda says his stuff always comes last. Plus, his help is regularly enlisted on house calls where hubby winds up having to restrain or rope or capture or hold up or hold down, wrestle or twitch all manner of uncooperative beasts from little girls' backyard horses to llama wrangling. Ah, the life of a veterinarian's husband isn't all just peaches and cream. He often has to fix his own dinner, which he really doesn't mind. But each day he approaches the refrigerator with trepidation, since that evening when he thawed out a piece of steak and fried it for himself. She told him not to wait for her because she'd be late. Next morning she was hunting through the freezer for a sample she had labeled possible tissue damage from hypoderma lineatum. Send to the lab. Honey, she said, did you see a... And then she glimpsed in the trash can and saw writing on a big baggie. What? he asked. Oh, nothing, she said. I'm pretty sure it was just a necrotizing cattle grub anyway. <laughs> this is Baxter Black and Puppy from out there.